Hi, Minesh Bakshi here. Welcome. And today I have a good friend. I've known her for a long time, and she's very dedicated in her profession, helping people. And you learn more about her today and about her business as well. So please welcome Amy Veline. Amy. It's so nice to be here. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. And uh, it's been a few months since we last saw each other, right? Yeah, yeah. I was at your office, yeah. right? And Amy is from Troy. And uh, so tell me a little bit about you. I mean, you live in Troy, husband, children. Tell us a little bit about that. All right. Uh, yes. I got married in 1983. Wow. And we bought our first home in Troy, and we've moved once north. And, uh, <laughs> in Troy. In Troy, <laughs> and a great place. We raised our children here and went through the school system. Great, great place. Perfect. And uh, our kids are all out of town now. They um, live Colorado? in Colorado and, and California. And California. Yeah. I just came back from California yesterday. I was in Oakland, Alameda, San Francisco area. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, it's a nice area. And uh, Colorado is beautiful too. I have quite a few friends. I'm planning to go maybe September this year to Colorado. Yep. We'll see about that. Now, in your case, mm -hmm. you've always been attracted, it seems like, to health and wellness, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about your journey in that area of helping people, helping yourself in the, you know, basically what I would call health and wellness industry. Right. Well, I was really blessed to live in a family that had good eating habits, okay. you know, and healthy eating habits, you know, and oleo was the thing, and margarine, you know, it wasn't oh, yeah. very long before my mom was like, no, we're doing butter. So, huh. you know, they were ahead of their time. They made yogurt when it wasn't fashionable, and. So I was modeled very well. Um, my own wellness journey, though, I would have to say started in 2008 when I started using essential oils, um, Young Living essential oils, and it made me interested in studying the wellness industry and what can I do. And uh, I started to become aroma, an aromatherapist since I was using essential oils, and I was introduced to a healing touch um, which is an energy hmm. work Correct. that's done. And uh, it kind of blew my mind. Hmm. <laughs> and uh, like the first class I went to, I made my sister go with me just because I didn't understand what energy meant. Sure. I, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was this kind of spiritual thing. And I made my sister go with me. And uh, it ended up being like so eye-opening wow. and wonderful and... Um, yeah, so it's led me to where I am today. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. And essential oils are great because these are natural. You can use that to build your immunity, mm -hmm. and they don't have the side effects that we normally associate mm -hmm. with things different, which are. So I understand that. So tell us a little bit about, I think you said the words energy medicine. Yep. And before we go into it, I want to make sure we have limited time. So I know you got a lot of knowledge and information. I know. So tell me from the perspective of an average person, how do you think they can benefit from energy medicine? Right. Like, what is it? What is it, exactly. right? Exactly. Well, Dr. Oz, I brought my little cheat sheets here so sure. I don't forget, says that um, energy medicine, um, the next big frontier in medicine is energy medicine. Very interesting. And really, energy medicine has been around for years. Huh. Um, it, it, you, in Qigong, acupuncture, I mean, years and years ago, the Chinese... Um, mapped flows of energy in the body, and the acupuncturists use those today. And um, ancient Hindu um, and Buddhism, they worked with the energy centers of the body. We know them as the chakras, that's what they call them, but they're just energy centers in the body that the meridians that the acupuncturists um, uh, flow into. And, and, and I learned nine different energy systems in the training that I did. Wow. And how they talk to each other and communicate with each other. And it's, it's like a subtle energy. So I, when people come in, I like to have them feel energy. So if you just take your hands and rub them together and create a ball, you can kind of play and feel like a tension between your hands. So our viewers can actually go and do this right now yeah, and actually yeah. feel like the ball yeah. and can sense that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's very cool. Or if you go into a dark room, you can put your hands together like this in a dark room and pull them apart and you can see like light in between. Wow. And that's just energy. And so like the... So it's not, it's not something that you just feel. You can actually... You, 
people some people can see it the wow. person that i got the training from donna eden her mm -hmm. training she can see all everything that i'm talking about in your body she's you know gifted and talented that way and um but we each have our own subtle way of sensing energy very interesting yeah. and i think the key part which for me is very easy to understand but hard to become aware of at a deeper level for all of us is we are more what I would call carrying energy with us that people interact with than just interacting with our words and our actions and so on and so forth. Right. And I heard a speaker say this one time, and it was pretty interesting the way he said that. He said, people meet your energy before they meet you. Mm -hmm. So your energy introduces you, so to mm -hmm. speak. So when you walk into a room, you are talking to somebody, even on the phone, mm -hmm. they are sensing your energy and reacting and interacting with that energy rather than what you may be saying, right. what you may be you know, touching, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So I think from that perspective, energy is very powerful, but because unlike certain things like a body, we can't see it, right. we tend to not maybe pay enough attention to it, or right. because we can't see it, we are like, maybe it's not that important, mm -hmm. but from your, obviously, mm -hmm experience, having dealt with this different nine systems that you're talking about, that you and I can actually do something about the energy. Mm -hmm. So now if somebody wants to work with you, what would they work on? Why, why would somebody even say, hey, yeah, I need to use Amy's services? Right, I get that question all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to do a better job of marketing, right? Right, right. Yes. absolutely. So people come to see me for lots of different reasons. Okay. Uh, stress. Mm -hmm. I mean, we live in such a stressful time, and it does so many things to our body. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't sleep, we don't digest our food properly. Um, you know, there's so many things that happen just because of stress. Then we have um, sickness, we have um, accidents, we have pain that comes, we have autoimmune issues, um, we have traumas that happen in youth. Mm. I mean, all these things are really energetic imbalances. Mm. So Donna like looks at pain, somebody that would come in with chronic pain, um, as just stuck energy. Wow. So it's my, our job together, working as a team, um, using what I call um, muscle testing, mm. which I can get into in a minute, um, to ask the body, you know, what's going on. Hmm. Wow, that's an interesting way yeah. to put it. Ask the body what is going on. Right, right. Okay. And where can I help you? And what do I need to do first? Hmm, very interesting. Yeah. And so obviously your office is in Bloomfield Hills, mm -hmm. correct? Yep. And so people, if they want a session, they come to you. Mm -hmm. And tell me a little bit of a client case study or a success story that you might have helped. Oh, um, oh, lots. I mean, I, I get people that um, come in with emotional issues. Um, I get people that come in... Um, I had a woman that came in with TMJ, hmm. and it was just fascinating the layers that came up just hmm. around the TMJ. You know, um, we are multifaceted. It is truly mind, body, and and spirit. And so, foods that affect us huh. um, can affect TMJ. Yeah. Um, clenching our teeth, like when did we start clenching our teeth? Hmm. So just asking the body. Why am I clenching my teeth? When did that start happening? Very interesting. Yeah. So what, is a sh what does a session look like? So on initial session when you come in, um, the, well, really every session, we chat. But initially when you first come in, it's important, like you said, for our energies to have harmony. Huh, that's and a good way to put it. Yeah, and so, you know, I'm not going to have you come in and just lay down and expect your energies to say, okay, I'm available. Yeah. It's like there has to be a trust even with our energy. Like building rapport. Exactly. I loved how you said that, that our we're talking here above just our talking. Yes. And, um, and you know, just your presence is calming. This, Thank you. This is, you know, not easy to sit here and do this, <laughs> but your, your energy is calming. Thank and you. And it calms me. So, um, you know, that's what I do. Interact, ask questions, get a history, and... Um, and then I do what we call the energy testing. Mm. And it's just basically using a muscle in the body mm -hmm. um, to see if the energy is flowing through it. Mm -hmm. And then we, um, if I can use that muscle um, to find yes and out yes and no questions. Yeah, so the muscle and the body is responding 
positive or negative right. to whatever you are trying to do right. for them, right. or at least get a sense of what's the next step to take with that body. Right. And so there's basic energies in the okay. body that um, the training that I, I got training through is Donna Eden, and um, I'm a clinical practitioner, so I've had three years of training, wow. um, training with um, mentors. Um, they've watched me work in sessions. I've had to do, you know, sessions, pass tests. So, um, it, it, you know, I've learned lots of protocols and have lots of support. So, and I still do. Um, so there's basic energies that Donna has taught us have to happen in the body for there to be wellness. Mm. And the energies must cross. So, I mean, you see people standing, sitting like this, and I used to always think this was defensive. But it's not. It's a person's just natural um, way of calming themselves. Very interesting. I, I, I agree with you because yeah. reading too much into it could be a problem. Yeah, yeah. Because they're doing whatever they s that feels comfortable right. for the person. Right, and getting the energies to cross. Um, mm -hmm. So actually what you're doing here is you're calming what we know as a fight and flight response, triple warmer right here. And then right here is what we call spleen meridian, hmm. which gets depleted quite often. And so you're feeding um, spleen with triple warmer. So just by doing this, you're nourishing your body. It's Very so interesting. Cool. So just by doing this, yeah. I might have a positive calming effect on my body. Yeah. And so viewers can actually watch and say, hey, maybe I feel a little yeah. stressed. Maybe this is a place to start. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Or, Are there any or people holding their... I know this is very yeah. common, right? So, and this is, this is very grounding. The oh. Stomach meridian is here. You've got triple warmer here. So it's interesting. People... Notice somebody next time when they're trying to remember something. They usually do. Yeah, this. they're using uh, yes. Okay, so this is a point here on uh -huh. a meridian that okay. we are on a radiant circuit that helps recall. Interesting. I know. Or people when they're in a stressful situation, they'll grab their head because uh -huh. you're going in the fight or flight response. Uh -huh. And Donna calls these the oh my god points because people <laughs> have a stress. Uh. And so what you do is you hold your forehead and you allow the blood to come back to the brain so you can think. Very interesting. Yeah. So there are things that our body is telling us to right. do right. and we don't even know why, but it does have a reason for yeah. it. Yeah. And one of the reasons is being more in control of your emotions and body at right. that time, I right. presume. Right. And it's just doing things to calm yourself that you don't even realize why you're doing them. Yeah, so I'm cool. sure. There's a lot of things I do. I may not have no awareness on that as well. Right. Well, that's very interesting. Right. So thanks for giving us those tips as well. Tell us a little bit about how people can get hold of you and uh, where your office is. So our office is located at Maple and Telegraph. Okay. And we're open by appointment. Okay. Um, we do have massage and mm -hmm. deep laser therapy there. Um, and I do the energy part of it and nutrition. I'm okay. I'm very big into helping people eat healthy. Yes. Yeah, good food. And to test your food to see if it's in harmony with your body. Very you know, important. I got on the kale kick. Yes. Kale wasn't good for me. Interesting. So now I understand you need to energy test all your food wow. to see if it's good for you or not. That's anyway. a different way of, yeah, yeah, exactly. So what's the phone number or ways to get hold of you? So our website is um, natural-recharge.com. Okay. You can leave us a message there. Our phone number is 248-203-7744. Uh -huh. Wow, that's good. And David is still there, obviously. David's my business partner. He's a good guy. Yeah, he's a great guy. I've known you and David for a long yeah. time. Yeah. And I've enjoyed seeing your transition in different ways and Again, we are all on our own growth. Yep. We like to learn certain things. Some things are more attractive to us, and that's mm -hmm. where we go in that direction. And it was interesting for me to run into you again and just yep. rekindle that, wow, you're doing some really interesting yep. work. Yep. And I'm glad our audience got a chance of. Anything last minute that you want to share before we wrap up here? Um, just Donna's work is awesome. I'm okay. the one that I'm pioneering it here in this area. Okay. I've got some buddies in Ann Arbor, but really I'm the only active practitioner here. You're going to hear more about her. Sure. She's on Mind Valley. Okay. Um, and just, you know, give me a call and we can chat. Very good. Fantastic. Well, thanks again, Amy, for Thank coming. You. And I'm sure you got a few tips on what energy medicine is and how you can learn to heal yourself. And obviously, if you need some guidance and support, Amy right. is our local expert who can help you there as well. So thanks again for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>